Yeah, and then what happens if we're walking down the street and we get stopped by somebody from Lone Star and then all of a sudden you've got ear tips in your pocket? We are shadows, we are fire In the black our hearts aspire Cause they steal karma's ire In the night we rise higher Dark streets pulse with a deadly sound Boy Chummers, before we get started, if you enjoy our content, do us a favor, give it a like if you're on YouTube, or rate the episode if you're listening on your favorite audio podcasting place. Uh, those interactions do go a long way with helping us reach new people who might be interested in Shadowrun. We did hit our goal of 500 subscribers on YouTube, and that is all thanks to you. Thank you guys so much. Couldn't have done it without you. But now we're going to shoot for 500 more. With that, we are back into the epilogue of what do, what do we call in this the the karma karma and kaze continuum <laughs> i was partial to the karma and kaze variety hour myself but uh, variety <laughs> hour <laughs> you'll laugh you'll love you'll cry we cover all the spectrums here yeah the story oh. continues well if you're keeping up with said epilogue last time we had kaze waking up uh a little confused a little uh a little worried things had progressed that uh, he wasn't aware of he tried to kind of pick back up where he remembered things leaving off and uh didn't really work out so well and uh then he got um tossed somebody he didn't expect I think that about covers it. Then the last thing, the very last thing was you walked off into a uh, public matrix booth and uh, Carmo pulled you out of it. And that's that's, You're welcome, where, by the way. that's where we're picking up, basically. Well, he shot the booth. I mean, that's one way to put, put it. I, you <laughs> know. <laughs> he wanted to make sure that you were 100% safe. That's yeah, good uh, precisely. Yeah. Yeah, it worked. So I mean, it it definitely worked. So uh, that's that's where we're opening. That uh, right after he's saved you from said booth, you've started to come to your outside. You remember laying down, going and uh, trying to go to sleep as the last thing. But now you're we here. Also, we also had one other thing that we left off on, which was Zeke was running out of the yeah. Someone was running at us to to come find us at the end uh, of the yeah. last episode. Yes, yes. Yeah. Who is uh standing there also out uh on the street wondering what what is going on. A lot of that a lot of that going on. Yeah. 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 So there's a lot of questions to open up with. So uh who wants to start? Why are we outside? Well, once again, you slept walk out here and just jacked into the booth thingy. The from the, from the, from this one, from this thing, the this thing. Yeah, I the, think so. I don't know what your cyberware is. Starting to be concerned that I don't anymore either. It's rough. Can we go back inside and sleep? Probably a good idea, or at least as close to it as we can get at this I, point. Why is Zeke out here? Did he come with us? No, or... he just kind of came running towards us, and now oh. he's just standing there, staring at us. Like, Zeke, wow. what's up? Yeah, wondering where you all went. Right yeah, here. Just kind of disappeared. Apparently out here. Yeah. Okay, well, it's not, not safe, so... Well, well, here we are. We're down to... I went down to go back. Right. Didn't mean to be here in the first place. So, accidents happen. <laughs> sure. Uh, w whatever you guys say. All right, back this way. He'll lead you back down to where you originally were past some slightly worried faces as they look on at you. Just wave as I walk by. Can I find uh, some rope? I mean, uh, you can find some cable. Is uh, cable work? will work, yeah. What do you want to do with the cable? 
How long is the cable? How much cable do I have here? 20 feet of cable. That's a lot of cable. Lot of so cable. far, I'm just going to hold on to it. Just wrap it up and... Yeah, just with... wrap it around my soldier for now, shoulder for now. That's okay. a secret tool we'll use for later. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you, you never know, right? Yeah. Sure. Uh, well, the rest of the evening, once you get settled back in, uh, goes through without incident. Because it does not randomly get back up okay. during the night. Okay. Wonderful. Good job, team. We didn't sleepwalk. Only once. Only, Only once. New um, personal best. Yay. So the, the next day, you're here in the Orc Underground. What is it that you wanted to accomplish? What did we? Why are we here again? Meeting with Applejack. Right. To talk to him to see if he can try to help us figure out what and where and who and why. In yeah. that order. What were we going to figure out again? Uh, any information that he might have to help us figure out what's going on with Right, this. you. You're the problem. Yeah? More. Th yeah, that's, that's one way to put it. Yeah. All right. That is one way to put it. So we'll uh, go look for Applejack. Well, it doesn't take you too long to find him. You're brought to like the basement of some structure. You can't really tell what it is that they've co-opted to use, but uh, it looks to be the most well put together place and most defensible place in the entire area that you've seen so far. Hmm. It seems like a good place to to be. Yeah. If anywhere, this is the spot. Yeah. Yeah. Inside, there looks like it's all been separated by makeshift walls. You have sleeping quarters. Uh, there's like a small mess area. Uh, and then there's two large space agey looking chairs with wires and screens everywhere. Huh. Heck is that for? And then there's a uh, a large like meeting table that there are people gathered around, uh, and you recognize one of them. Is it Applejacks? Is it Applejack? Yes, it is. Applejacks. Okay, cool. it's Archer Steel. <laughs> it's Sam Hickory. <laughs> oh my God! Legal representative <laughs> of the Troll Underground. Underground. <laughs> He's ready to help you <laughs> fix your case. Get the rights you deserve. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, you can see you can see him amongst the this group of other uh, orcs that are kind of arguing with each other. There's finger pointing and shouting. But it looks like he sees you or it notices you, but just kind of shrugs it off almost. Like, nah, that's that's nothing new. I mean, I'll just, I'll, I'll, well, I'll wait near the, near the back of the room while they're having their meeting. I don't want to I don't want to interrupt things. That would, that would be rude. Point at karma and just go. Let's just uh, let's 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 wait over. Let's wait over here. All right. Not in the way. Can can we make out what they're talking about? Uh, it's something about refugees. You're not entirely sure. I see. So but while they're eventually, Applejack just shakes his shakes his hands, holds his head, and just kind of walks away, headed in your direction. I start waving to flag him down. I, I think he sees us. Yeah. Yeah. What what, what do you need? Uh, well, first off, it's good to see you. Hope you've been doing well. I know it's been a while. Longer I... than I've realized, I'm starting to come to the realization of. Uh-huh, yeah, R real long time. And um, I'm hoping that you might be able to help us figure out what's been going on. With what? Uh, I mean, our group... Valhalla, the Arcology, a lot of things. I have a lot of gaps and, and not a lot of information in okay. in those areas, uh, which is why I came to the expert. I, I don't know if I'm an expert, but I guess I could probably fill in a, a couple of those holes. So where do you want to start? Uh, What happened to Valhalla? That feels like a pretty good place to start. You mean Asgard? Yes, Asgard. That's... Sorry. Blame the brain uh, fog. Nobody, nobody officially knows, but uh, in one night they were wiped out. Do we know by who? No. Okay. Somebody. Hmm. Have to be pretty professional if they were able to take all of them in one night. Wow. Yeah, we we don't know 
I don't know who. I haven't had a whole lot of time to dig into it, handling other other matters that are a little more important. Have you had or heard anything about anybody making it out from there? No. I know you said that they were white, but I'm just rumors in the shadows go a long way sometimes. I I, I don't know for sure. Like maybe maybe one of the magic guys. I don't know. It's up in the air. I've never gotten an accurate description. And you know how it is with people with magic. It's wonky. It do be wonky. That is very true. Okay, so next up, what happened with the arcology? Yeah, that's a little more pressing, I think. Uh, it's open. So I've heard. Yeah, nobody knows why. Okay. A bunch of people came out. The whole building's currently been cordoned off again. Extra security. But people have been making it out of there. Uh, we're slowly getting a trickle since we have uh, unique ways to get into the arcology. Unique ways? Yes. Has there been any news or information about, I don't know, anything weird happening with people that came out of the arcology? Anything noteworthy on that end? Like... Sleepwalking? No compulsory sleepwalking, or maybe random data jacks that they whoa, didn't whoa. previously Shh. have. Let's let's tone the voice down a little bit. Sorry. Yeah, Cosmic, uh, come on. My bad. What do you what do you know about sleepwalking? Yeah, I do it now. I I don't know. Karma helped me out last night, and I woke up outside next to a destroyed public use terminal, and then we came back in to fall asleep without issue as far as I know for the rest of the night. So they just let you in here without fully scanning you? I mean, you know, when you say that you know the big boss, you know, sometimes that it helps move you along a little bit faster. Right. At least is what I'm assuming happened. But to answer your question more earnestly, yes. Yes, they did. Yeah. Yeah, we, we've noticed we've noticed something strange with some of the people that we take in. They just wake up or zone out sometimes. We don't know why, but um, we've kind of had to watch them a little more closely. Some mm -hmm. of them can get violent. As far as I know, that has not been the case for me so far that I remember. So far. To be honest, I've been up for a day, and it's been a busy one. As far as I remember... I was in the arcology, I found the person there that I was looking for, and we went to get out. The next thing I know, I woke up yesterday in downtown Seattle. You don't know how you got there. Or even how long I'd been down there. Yeah. How long How long ago did they reopen the arcology? It hasn't been that long. It's only been maybe a week. So, I don't know how much time you may have lost there. It's all the time inside that you've lost. Yeah. Yeah, that's where things get a little fuzzy. And by that, I mean I have no idea what happened. Okay, well, your eyes aren't a different color, so that's good. Well, they are cyber eyes, so sometimes that would be hard to tell, I would imagine. No. Okay, so fair enough. Not, not for these particular ones. Should hmm. we? Uh, can you, um, your arm, your right arm, don't just raise it. I mean, take all your clothes off of your upper body to show your right arm. Okay. I'll take off my trench coat and take off the, pull the overshirt off over. Sure. That side to expose my right arm. Okay. You have one black circular band that is going around your arm now. Okay. That, that answers some questions. Um, is, is, is one band bad or is one band good? I, can't tell you for sure. We're still okay. figuring things out. One thing I do have to tell you now is you can't stay here. I can help put you someplace, but you you can't stay here. Okay. If anybody That's... else outside of this outside of this room sees you with that band, that's not that's not going to be good for you. I see. Okay. Um well that would be helpful because um Asgard is burned out wreck. 
and um i'm pretty sure i don't have an apartment anymore and there was a rather uh rude fellow living in your previous apartment as well so oh yeah i got got out of that place uh, about the same time that uh asgard got burned didn't want to leave any tracks understandable yep had to made it a little bit harder to track you down but that was Look, I can, territory i can put in a call i can't tell you that you're going to be staying at the ritz but it's dry i guess does that work it's, works enough for now all right i'll put in the word for you here's my new contact number sends it to you i sorry i can't do more or give you better answers Hang We're on, let me. Trying. I gotta up. I gotta update my contact real quick. Change the name on the contact to best friend. And <laughs> saved. Look, honestly, Applejack's everything that you've done for us already has been more than enough. And I appreciate the fact that, considering whatever's going on with this black band situation, that they didn't immediately erupt into violence here with uh, you seeing what's going on with me. And it I don't. Only... It'd only really matter if uh, we ran into any of the resistance that well, still somehow lived through. And they, I don't... they are around here, so be careful. No, that's fair. I I don't know what happened in the arcology, and I wish that I had more information to be able to maybe try to help and be helpful for you guys, but regardless of what happened while I'm in there, whatever it was, was worth it that you're still here. So at least we got that going for us, big guy. I can appreciate that. I guess all I can really say is um, welcome back to the shadows. Speaking on that note, do you maybe happen to have any work you need done or know anybody that maybe no. needs to? Because, you know, the new yens are a little, little light. light. A little light these days. I might have something for you to do. Uh, I got to ask a few que a few pointed questions. Um I generally am going to suspect that you want to stay out of ever going back inside there. Preferably, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, not going to the Arcology would probably be optimal uh, uh, for the time being. Um, absolutely. And if anybody asks, uh, I, I lead over, I'm just, I'm just, hey, uh, what's, what's, your, what's your runner name? I'm asking Karma. What's, what's, what's your runner it's, name? It's Karma. It, it's you Karma? That's my real name? I don't... No, oh, yeah, it's Karma. It's Karma. If anybody asks who it is that's looking for these jobs, tell them it's an up-and-comer runner named Karma. Really? Really. Sure. Okay. Uh, I, that That's really all I... Uh, uh, it's just... You know... I am glad to see you. If you do have that, once you get the information uh, on the betting scenario and also the job, just go ahead and shoot it over to me. It seems like a perfectly good chance for me and Karma to go grab some coffee and, uh, you know, get out of your guys' hair here. So appreciate you putting us up for the night, my friend. Sure. As soon as I have that place for you, I will let you know. Sounds good. Karma, anything you need? Anything for the road? I got nothing. I got my cord. By the way, Applejacks, this is Karma. Karma, Applejacks. I've heard your he, name. He's the tentative sure. runner that I was telling you. He's... I... I I uh, I figured from the name, but you know, thanks. Do you want to do you want to leave the cable here, or are we taking it with us? No, we're taking it. Okay. Is anybody gonna miss this twenty feet of cable, Applejacks? That's it. Okay. No. I just hey, I just okay. no hassle on the way out. <laughs> yeah. If Zeke Nobody tried to stop, stop me. I don't know. Is this Zeke's favorite cable? I don't. I just want to no, make sure. No, you know, no. Stepping on any toes. All right. Sounds good. And I'll talk to you soon. And then we'll go ahead and ski daddle. The the way we came, okay. Oh my God! Pause. Easy mode question. Ha. Huh, yeah. uh, how does different ammunition types work? Like what do you mean? like stick and shock. Uh, I would do stun instead of. But is it just something like oh I I'm I'm gonna swap to stick and shock or is yeah. it like okay okay that's all I needed to know for you know imagine, maybe cause... maybe possible taking down of teammates in the future so yeah. Can I have some stick and shot in my gear? Tucked yes. away safely right. next to your twenty feet of cable. twenty yeah twenty feet of cable. Make sure that's in your inventory. Yep, it's right there. Hey, he's writing uh, it right. He's writing it down. He's got stick it. Stick and shot <laughs> ammo. There we go. All right, I got it. All right, well, All you right. guys are back out on the street. Are we no waiting for Applejacks to send us that location, or are we just 
Hey, do you happen to, know any, happen to know any good coffee places around here? I could really go for a cup of coffee nope. right now. I don't. Can't say I really... I don't really drink that drink, so... Okay, well, that'll be step number one. So let's go ahead and find a good coffee place around here. All right. We'll go walking, looking for a, a local cafe. Okay. Uh, let's go for... There's the uh, Dragon's Breath. That'll work. We'll go in. We'll just order... Order us two drinks. We'll go sit down. Okay, just hanging out in here? Yeah. The regular hustle and bustle of a small cafe. So, Karma. Yeah, what's up, bud? I figure that you probably have some questions. About what? You went into archaeology, you don't know... I mean, I've heard most of it. You went into the archaeology, you don't know what happened, you left. Here we are. Well, I mean, more generalized questions. I mean, what have you been up to for, for the year ish that I've been out of here that I've been out of training I guess I mean Harley Quinn kind of saved me from save is a strong word uh, saved me from the whole massacre and mm. um, realized I had magical powers and oh. so I've just been training basically is that a side effect of the whole possession business or was this uh, I don't know independent of that can't say I really know where that came from. Okay, so, that's fair. That's fair. I don't have any spirit powers, so probably not. Okay. I mean, it probably just... I don't know if... I mean, you know, my dad was awakened, so it probably just... Genetic? Yeah, hey, speaking of... Mm -hmm. What's, uh... Did, was, was he at Asgard, or...? Uh, I, I feel like... You know, you just came out. I mean, we talked about this yesterday. I get it. Your brain's a little fuzzy. Uh, Amazing and my dad's bodies weren't found. They were the oh, only two right. that were not they were, found, oh, okay. from what yes. I know. I, I do have recollection of Harlequin mentioning that as well. That is true. Yeah. Okay. So, don't... And, but n no, nothing? No, not even a postcard or a handwritten I note? I mean, I'm a, I don't know if he even knew if I survived, so he might have just checked out and left Seattle. Wouldn't blame him, but understandable uh given the circumstances so training with harlequin seems like it would be hell it's not yeah okay cool that was the words that was mostly was just, it wasn't like really like torture he just uh -huh. did things weirdly and like i don't i don't really like not probably not how you would train a kid mm -hmm. but i can't I say i've ever yeah he gets well, a little... Yeah, I'll keep what, it vague, but... Okay, so what, in terms of... I'm assuming you're, at this point, in the line of keeping up the family business, as it were. The family trade. I am, now that I'm in your lap. Phrasing. I mean, so, I don't have a sin, so... Well, that does help. Already off to a good start. Okay, so what do you know how to do? Shoot a gun. Uh huh. I can walk up walls. Well, run side on walls. That's um, pretty handy. I'm. I don't know. I'm small and nimble. Are you? Are you close combat training or only range weapon? Oh, hold on. Where's this cafe shop? Like, where in Seattle? Are we in the Barrens? Like, uh, you're in the the Touristville area. <laughs> okay, just <laughs> like. Push his sniper rifle on my back, still slightly to the side. Take a guess. Okay, fair. We might have to work on that then. Yeah, I mean, I got. So, I mean, I got. <laughs> pulls out Aries Predator. I got a gun. A, you know, a pistol. I, I can shoot both pretty well, but guns are good until they're out of ammo. And then you need another option. Uh, to, I just don't run out of ammo. Ideally, I think typically you just want to kill them before you do that. It's not like I have very ammo heavy guns. Typically true, but. Again, always good to have a backup plan. Um, contacts? Anybody? Any? Oh, no, my eyesight's fine. But... <laughs> I'm hilarious. Um, no, man, I, don't, I haven't been... I, <laughs> I haven't been in Seattle for, like... Or, well, yeah, like, a however long that was. So I don't... Like no, it... I don't have any contacts. I don't... I mean, all my contacts are dead. And then you. Okay. I mean, Harley Quinn didn't leave me a way of contacting him. I guess Applejack, but, I mean, he gave him his number to you, so... I'm pretty sure you just shine a big Joker card in the in the sky if you want to get in contact with Harlequin. I think that I don't think he'd care. I, uh, I don't. 
Uh, well, probably good that I got us started on the right foot of having Apple Jacks be you as our point of contact for when we do get this job order. And then I, I think maybe might be due for a little on hand training. Okay. If, uh, if this is what you want to do, because don't have any other options. It's that or get well, eaten by always, sewer rats, so. There's always other options, Karma. That's not Okay, fair. there's being homeless, and then there's being sinless. You can so, get a job. Well, I, those are the same thing. I mean, Taco I mean, Temple's always hiring. Entry-level positions are always available. So I'm while, sure... you, while, while you guys are having this conversation just casually, uh, your table gets bumped and your, your drinks get spilled a little bit as someone just slides into the the side of the the table there like pulls a pulls up seat a big cup of of coffee still steaming and they set it down and just kind of hold their their face in their hand long night too loud too loud sorry uh, can we help you sir uh, um to, whisper whisper to, inside voices too loud he flaps the lapels of his of his jacket and you can see uh the dark circles underneath of his eyes, uh, disheveled red hair, <laughs> all kind of in a tangled mass, just slumps down in the seat. Ugh. Hi. What the frag do you want? Morning. Karma. What? Curtis. Cur Here's you what? He spilled our drinks. I understand. Hey, nothing <sighs> a napkin can't fix. What do you, what can we help you with, Chum? Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, why don't you why don't uh, you take a sip of that coffee? Why don't you why don't you go ahead and get up? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Get a little get up and go. Oh god. Ugh. Tastes like ass. Ugh. I haven't had decent coffee in forty five years. So mm -hmm. about that thing. You uh you still good to still good to do that, right? Is is this the thing about where we'll be at, or is this the thing about you needing us to do the thing for you? Yeah, that that's the one. That's that's. Gotcha. Okay. Yes, but awesome, awesome. Our 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 main point of contact here is my friend Karma. So I, I'm gonna open open the floor to discussion yeah. here. I'm mostly here as a moderator, mentor role type thing. You know, big brother type situation. Uh huh. How did you find us? Really? You spend that much time around me, and that's that's your question? Oh, I didn't recognize. Hi. I don't wear it everywhere. I, do you know? Uh, how I don't know. I saw you mostly in it. Well, that was because I wanted you to. It's, it's been a really long night. Okay, I'm very tired. Right. So you'll do the thing for me. I'll pay you for we, it. Obviously. Do we know what the thing is? Uh, here's some. Ah, 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 there you go. Throws you uh, like a little jump drive and uh, a cred stick. As he does that, I'm just like edging Karma. I'm like, how how convenient is it that your first job you get to work it for somebody you already know? Look at this. Oh my this god, is so nice. Really? Now, you know, <laughs> montage ask... of memories. Of... <laughs> now, all right. Now, ask him what's the job. This is what's... the part where you get the details. Well, I'm gonna check the cred stick. How much is on it? First, first, I'm checking the cred stick. How much is on it? Uh, it's uh, twenty five thousand new yen. Okay. What's the job? Uh, oh, it's it's all right there. It's all in the the little thingy. Yeah, it's all in there. Just just do that, and uh, you'll you'll be good. I'll um, give you more money. I'll slot it into my com link and see what sure. it is. Uh, it's a couple of dossiers about uh. Somebody called uh, Zurich. Zurich. Uh huh. Okay. Is that is and, it just a and, couple of dossiers? Is there like no actual and, job? <laughs> like, and it's and another name that uh, All Air, uh, Arandel, Blaine, Death Edge. Yeah. Uh, everybody on that list. I need you to... Uh, can you make them disband? I mean, if you have to kill a couple of them, that's, that's fine. Oh, are they a band? Oh, no. Uh, in, more in the file. I'll check. Sure. Uh, all of these are supposed to be members of some gang called the APN. APN. 
It's a yeah. terrible name. What the fuck? <laughs> it's Association Para Nobilis. I'll look over at Kaze. Does that ring a bell to you? All right. Well, a gang's a gang. Yeah, uh, I, I just need them to go away. They're... Ask what the gang does. What does the gang do? Pissing me off. Huh? <laughs> what does what the is... gang do? Like, are does they... It, does it matter? They're just a gang. No, I don't know, man. I'm just being told more... what the... I'm a puppet here. More information on the target makes it easier for us to know how to deal with them. They're... He gave us a fragging dossier, all right? Yeah, I'm sure that's good. all the information he has, all right? Okay. <laughs> You say so this, wait, but think about who we're dealing with. Touche. So can we just kill them all? That seems like the easiest way to disband. Like, only leave one of them left, you know, kill the others. That seems, ooh, they're pretty disbanded. Ooh. One of them left is good. One one left, sure, sure. As long as one's left. Okay. Fine. It has to be one of the ones uh, of the name people. Can you, so. Can you do that? Uh, the other thing I need you to do, uh, this has to happen. Otherwise, I give you no more money and no more jobs. Okay. You have to do this part. Every one of them that you take down or mm -hmm. incapacitate, I need you to cut the tips of their ears off. Oh. What, like, are they elves? Um, they, Is it they, a race thing? They want to be elves. Oh. This feels like a this feels like a hate crime to me, and I'm not super. Well, hold on, no, that. it's Can kind you of the opposite a... of a oh, hate okay. crime, right? Because okay. they're wannabe elves, so they have fake uh -huh. ear tips. Yes. So, it's it's if anything, it's a it's a justified hate crime. Uh... Karma, I think, Karma, Karma, I think you're losing us here. I think you're losing us here. Hang on. <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm working on my humanist angle. If this goes south, <laughs> 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 they're definitely they're definitely not elves. So, you're I fine. see. Right? Got it. All right. Cut off yeah, the tips they're of their ears. All wannabes. Yes. Not the full ear, just tips. 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 All right. Tips. tips. Both. Both. Both tips. Both tips. Do we keep them or do they just, like, do you want them in a baggie? Yes. Baggie. Baggie of tips. Uh, on ice, maybe? The... Can you keep them fresh? Uh, I'm sure we can. I mean, yeah, yeah, probably. I'm sure we can get some a chest of ice or something. Cool. That that'd be whiz. I appreciate that. So do you yeah, have any other information? Solid. Like, uh, I checked the file. Is there a location given at all? Uh, no. They it gives a an area of operation, which is uh, downtown. They're actually <laughs> they're actually like uh, eight or nine blocks away from the arcology. So you can can you do this? Is this okay? Uh, I need to. Uh, go over it with my team first, if you don't mind. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Whatever you need to do. I just need that done. Is let's there, say. Is there a time frame? Is let's... there a time frame? Which just sounds like you're about to say. It does sound like I'm about to say, because uh, I am. Let's give you about a week. Is that enough time? Do you know roughly how many members are in the game? This should be in the dossier, but one, two, three, four, five, six, six leaders and some underlings. I don't care much about the underlings. You can do whatever you want. It's the six name people that I have the biggest problem with. They're the ones that I need snip snip. Got it. All right, I'll turn to Kaze. I'll like grab a menu, put it up. Okay, so it's 25,000, mm -hmm. six targets. Okay. We have a week. Downtown is kind of where I'm a little... Town with six targets and only a week is a little spicy. That's that's you think... roughly a day a person that we're dealing with there. Should we aim for... I mean, just for downtime, should we just bump, try to bump it to two weeks? Two weeks would probably be good, because then we'd have the leg work time, and leg work time is always important. Again, if we only have a general operating area, we're going to have to cover some bases to try to figure out where these guys are even operating out of in the first place. So... True. You're... I your menu gets to... your menu gets flicked down. Tick, tick tock, tick tock. Excuse um, me, Mr. I Quinn. Have a conversation. If you could just one sec, flip the menu back up. Yeah, I think that. So I think we go for two weeks. I think two weeks would be. I, what? I think uh, that's fine. okay. Got. It. Okay. I'll put that in right. menu. How about two weeks? You know, time for leg work downtown. I mean, we got to work. Worry about the, the po po. You always have to worry about that. Well, yeah, but we have to do, like, extra, like, we got to plan escape routes just in case. I mean, we don't even have a V, we kind of have a vehicle, but, you know, we got to figure out, like, safe locations. Maybe we'll probably have to figure out something with the sewers, because I feel like it always involves the sewers. Anyways. Um... You know what? Since it's you asking, okay, 
since you're the one asking, I'm going to do you a solid. Mm-hmm. Still give you the uh, rest of the money upon completion. Not not take any more because you're asking for more time. But uh, I'm going to give you that more time. All right? So instead okay. of seven days, you've got nine. You good? Nine days. You have your good. target list. You know whereabouts they're at. Everything is on the jump drive there. Do I need to say anything else? No? Just Great. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to pick up my giant. Real real quick. Right. On the way out here. here. On the way out real quick. How do we get back in contact with you once we're done? And probably while, just in, now. while in the process of doing this, could we establish some type of drop location for after we get these ear tips the for you so we don't just have a box full of bag of ear tips maybe sitting around wherever we Every, end up making base out of? Everything you need to complete Dossier. this little, little little thing I'm having you do is all on the little de- device that I gave you. And it would just be so much easier if you just answer, if we just answer the question straightforward. Just yeah, I real did. Quick. It's just all right there, electronic. I get that. Tack-y, but see, tack, tack, have, having the all nice body parts puts me a little unnerved. You know, you we don't, don't like, have a VIP lounge for storage anymore. I don't, don't have like access body parts to any of these things. I they mean, they're just ear tips, so you probably get a like a backpack. How are I can't you imagine doing? they're gonna I, be very full. Me. Probably fit in my pocket. Look, all I know is I need the ear tips. Okay, okay. that's what I, I got. need. We got you. Okay, we're good. Ear tips of six people, so that's six ear tips. Twelve, 12, 12 ear, ear tips. tips. He needs both. He needs one, one from each side. Okay. Yeah. Easy peasy. Great. And remember, at least one. At least one alive. At least one. With your with ear tips or no ear tips? Uh, all ear tips removed. All, all ear gone, tips. One alive. one alive. One alive. Got one alive. All tip. Yep. Good. Yep. Okay. Yep. No, no tip. Good. Okay. No tip. Just a all alive. No one tips. Alive. No okay. tip. All alive. One alive. I'll, I'll let you guys. <laughs> I, I, okay. you know what? I trust you. It's, no a, it's in the dossier. You. you got this. Hang on, I'm talking. We're talking in circles. Uh, he just scoots the coffee to one side and then slowly gets up, uh, rummages in his jacket. You watch him pop two aspirin and then he just walks outside. Okay. All tips. All, all tips. All tips. One alive. All, alive. all tips. One alive. One alive. All one tips. Alive. There we go. Pretty good for your first meeting. Look at that. Yeah, you totally. The, you got the potential for a face in oh. y'all along. Who would have known? I, yeah, something like that. Uh, so how do you do legwork on a gang? Like, who do you ask about that? Yes. Especially downtown. Well, in this type of scenario, generally, find somebody that has information about local gangs. Usually, other gang members makes that a little bit more helpful. And then from there... You kind of just go to where they're supposed to be and walk around if you can see them. Most of the time, colors, jackets, notations, anything like that that would denote territory, you'll know that you're going to be in the right place for it. In the dossier, does it have any information about do they have an emblem? Do they have a symbol? Do they have colors? Do they have a uniform? Anything like that helps us to be able to narrow down where we're going to be looking. First, I... I... I'm gonna ask that, but judging by Easy's smile, I have a feeling I already know the answer. Uh, oh, is there... I have a feeling that this is gonna be the most useless hard drive we've ever received for a Shadowrun job in the history of these campaigns, which is why I was asking so many direct questions to <laughs> his face. Well, hey, Karma doesn't know that. Uh, is there any of that information in the dossier? So every easier, scrap easier. Of... Wait, wait, wait. Easier question. Easy. Can you give us a quick rundown of everything that's in the dossier so we know uh... what we've looked at? Sure can. Cool. Sure can. So there's a written description of all six members. No photos. <laughs> yeah. Rich, written description of what they look like, their names, uh, the gang, the way that it uh, operates, sort of. Uh, the Association Para Nobilis, the APN. Uh, is a violent gang of criminals posing as an elf supremacist group built on the ideals of proper elven behavior. Oh, okay. Interesting. A lot of them don't use guns. Well, they probably just use swords, so that makes my life easier. Uh, They do, actually. Oh, good. Does it say anything about magic? They use swords and bows and arrows. Oh, as proper elves should. Okay, all right. As is tradition, yes. 
of course. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Anybody that steps into their uh, their territory that they deem is offensive to elven nobility is killed with sword and arrow. Interesting. Uh, there is one mage. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, the, one of the named members is is the mage. Can, okay. Can, can I get the names of the of the members real quick? Uh, there's Zurich, Firel, Theron, Arendal, Aliar, and Blaine Death Edge. Okay, so what? We just drive around downtown with a big sign that says, you know, frag elves until we get shot at by bows and arrows? I mean, that seems like a pretty good way to locate them. Although we could die hard three the situation. I think that there's probably a more tactful... Oh my God. Uh, uh, I think that there's a more frag tactful... Die hard three. Don't worry about it. Down 911. Tell the police to get up here quick. Somebody's about to get killed. It's an, it's a, it's a, it's an old vid it's before an, your time. It's an old reference, but it checks out. <laughs> I think that there's probably an easier way that we go about this, which is leaning into our contact system. This is why I brought these up earlier. This is oh. an important part of shadow running, so we will have oh. to start working on that. For okay. You. Do you um, have any contacts that are gang related? I kind of do, because <laughs> Sam just seems like he knows everything most of the time, so you know. That's a good enough place to start, and uh, I'm still kind of trying to figure out what happened to the Valks. So if we could ever find out what happened to Galahad, I'm sure he would be. I don't know. That is increasingly helpful. I know. I'm more just more just oh, okay. Out, out Got it. Okay. Just All right. So obviously, it would be the the easier way to figure out what's going on with gang situations. Of course. Down. So uh... we go to the Halloweeners. They're pretty easy to find. That's true, and they like us. Uh, if memory serves, uh, again, a little fuzzy from the from the yeah, brain pretty sure, pretty sure situation. But I'm pretty sure they love us. They're not really downtown though, so they don't really. They might not know. Yeah, they probably won't have much. the information yeah. that we actually need for this specific scenario. Yeah, they're mostly out of Tacoma, so yeah. Uh, okay, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and start uh, from the top and work our way down. Okay, you so... want me to call my contact? Nope. Because he just left after giving us our job. I was going to so call, call you. He's, oh, okay. That would have oh, been the, the bit. But it's wow. okay. It's all right. It would have wow. been really funny. I'm but sorry, it's okay. buddy. I'm so, sorry. You know what? Next time. Next time. Okay. I'll put you in charge of contact detail. Thanks. Appreciate that. All right. Uh, well, let's let's go over to Sam's shop. See if we can talk to Sam and see if maybe he's got a little info for us. That could be helpful. Okay. So we'll uh, go. Did we have the the bike? with us when we went to the underground i don't remember it was somewhere yeah i i believe you did okay we'll take that to go back over to and drive over to sam's okay cool. sure i mean sam's still at his auto body shop it's like he never leaves anymore you know that's the thing i appreciate about sam is reliable same old same old same old sam uh all right well uh, i'll go with hey sam got a quick question for you friend oh you're still uh still kicking What's up? We are, luckily, um, back in business, some might say, but keep that on the DL. That's still uh -huh. need to know information. Sure. Have you heard anything about a gang called the APN operating out of downtown by chance? Doesn't ring a bell. Do you happen to have any contacts in downtown that might have any information on gang activity? That <sighs> kind of thing? I gotta be honest here with you, Chummers. Uh, after the fall of of Asgard, my uh, my contacts kind of dried up a little bit. What you see around here is what I got. Interesting. Do you have any regulars in the bar that are from downtown that maybe are a little gangy, a little fishy, a little not a, scrappy do? Not a lot of downtowners come out this far in I the know, tourist bill anymore. It felt like it might have been a stretch, but I just I thought maybe. It. Hey, Sorry, that's fair. Hey, easy. Yeah. Would Karma know how to get on the God? I don't know what it's called. The the, sh the Shadow Net, the Badlands. I don't know what it's called in this. The time. Badlands. I don't know what it's called in this in you at mean, this year. You mean Shadowlands? Shadowlands. Oh, that's Karma. it. Yeah. He yeah. wants to get on the. Does Karma know? Would Karma know how to do that? No, because okay, Harlequin only does it so infrequently that it's not yeah okay something he was worried about teaching you. Okay. It was. He, that was. It, it was more him trying to hone and help you learn your particular set of skills got it uh, okay as opposed to teaching you exactly how to 
do my job. Yeah. A, right. a, a, an all around runner. <laughs> That's all I needed. There goes my idea. Hmm. To that point, Sam. Yeah. Do you happen to know anybody that has a connection into the Shadowlands system? That might be able to get us some information. That's way above my pay grade. <laughs> Kaze, isn't wasn't Applejack like a hacker or something? Shh. What? He, the, <laughs> Sam doesn't know who that. Don't attach strings to people that don't need strings attached to them. Sam, forget I said that. Am we I we're talking about the cereal. We we're talking. We don't miss breakfast this morning. We're very excited for it. Soy Applejack, yeah. my favorite. Get, getting real old and and forgetful in in my age. Uh, that's what I love about you, Sam. All right. Well, thank you for the. Visit. I'll let you get back to it. And then we'll we'll leave the shop. Oh wait, we can't go back there. Oh wait, well I can go back there. It's fine. You can't. You stay you outside. Can't. I'll go talk to Applejacks. Okay. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. As we're walking away, I will also just be like, "Hey, by the way, Carmen, that was a really good yeah. idea. That is it. That I just I that, just don't you, know, you don't I, you don't I, you don't want to get your out your 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 peanut butter with your chocolate if you don't need to though. If you know what I'm saying. You, sometimes I, you gotta keep. That's it actually a really good combination though. So like that seems like a really bad. An a knowledge analogy mm, metaphor is it though? Is it a bad analogy? Analogy. <laughs> analogy. I think it's an analogy. That, I think it's an analogy that makes sense if you think about it, though. It's it's, it's a mm. thing. You know what? I'll let you. I'll let you light on that one for it. Let's go ahead and let's okay. let's head back and we'll let you, you go like, talk to Do you want to like? So I'll I'll take a lap. It'll be let fun. him know I'm coming, or am I just walking down there? I mean, I, I don't know him. I feel like I think we're friendly enough. If we just show up, like that's not a big deal, right? No, that's sure. a good, that's a good call too. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot Applejack's a text and just say, "Hey, need a, need some uh info for a job. Swinging by, dropping off karma. He'll fill you in. And then I'll hit send, and we'll drive back to the bakery. Not gonna wait for a response. We just drive back Did, to the bakery. Didn't think so. Nope. Uh, getting a response as soon as you get there. Just call. Oh, that's a good point. We could just call them. Oh, it's too late. We're already here. Karma, why don't you go down and go see? Go 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 talk to them. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go through the bakery, into the underground. I mean, you know how to get there. Remember to give Zeke the special high five on the way in, so that way he knows you're cool. I don't remember a special high five. Okay, I'm just going to not acknowledge him. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right. I'll, yeah, I'll I was really hoping there. that you were going to attempt to do a special high five, and there was no special high five. And I just, <laughs> wow. I just, I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see. Be silly. Of course. Hey, we're we're on the job. This is serious. All right. Serious Come on. business. This is serious. They call me Mr. Business in the Shadows. That's my new runner name, Mr. Business. Mr. Business. <laughs> and let me tell you, business is good. Whenever I'm about oh. to shoot someone, business oh. is booming. I, I'm business, oh in case God. you didn't get what I was referencing there. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good at my job. So yeah, anyways, I go into the underground section thinking, find Apple Jackson is bunker setup. Not really that. Yeah, it's a yeah very, I do that. Su very surprised look on his face of, why in the frag are you here? Uh, well, uh, you sent the message that it was like, oh my god, just call. And Kaze uh, was like, well, we're already here. Uh, so I just came down here because he didn't want to call you. You know, you typically wait for a response when you send a message. Dog, I'm not the one driving. I'll, I'll keep that in mind, but I did not send the message, nor did I drive here. Could you do us Fine. a favor, though? And there is what? Nguyen if required. What do you, what, what You're, do you possibly you, need? Can you get on the... Sh Shadowlands? And just do like a control F search for me. For what? Uh so we got a job for a gang. Um and they're downtown though and we don't have any leads on it, so I'm seeing if mayhap someone posted something on the Shadowlands about them. Because that seems like a place that someone posted. He, he just hangs his head in despair. You want me to use a very important contact possibly mm -hmm. to find out about a gang a single gang that operates downtown just is one not is that not what it's for i'm a little new to this is that what would you normally use it for oh boy oh boy they're not just like a, a website you go to i'm okay. like i'm gonna give you special access let okay. me see let me see your comp link oh hand over my comp he types something up all right it's all set okay. here you go whenever you're looking for something just type into this search bar here and it'll get you the information that you want 
Okay. 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 Good job. Go away okay. now. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Uh, upon, I, I'm not going to go back up. Uh, okay. I will. So I'm going to search for, uh, oh fuck. What's the game's name? It was the APN. The APN. The APN. I check the data chip again. I get the name. I copy and paste it from the data chip into the search bar. Does anything pop up? Uh, there's a, an associated news article about a, uh, a small gang that matches the, uh, the search. What is a news article about? Is it just talking about the gang or is it like... Yeah, they... it's mostly just talking about the gang and how they're kind of a thorn in the side, but it's all it's all overshadowed by the Arcology news still. That's right. like front and center. Can I use a plot point? Okay. For... Okay, okay. We'll see. Uh, okay. That the, uh, the article includes information about uh, a small robbery they did at a bar downtown sure uh i was gonna suggest maybe uh maybe some violence that was committed by them that as well you know whatever Something they're like very that. very popular for that okay well okay fair we just need uh there i need a name essentially a contact a restaurant to go to for a sure. leaf is what i'm uh, trying to get out of this it also you can also get a uh gang a gang tag what their tag looks like Beautiful. I will uh, take a screenshot of both of those things, shoot them over to Kaze, and then walk out. Kaze, you get an article about APN gang violence in downtown. Very small article. Uh, and also a snapped picture of what their gang uh, ID tag looks like. It's the letters APN kind of done in a swoop. And they're surrounded by a wood crown. While this information is coming in, I don't see it on my phone because I'm busy in the parking lot of the uh, bakery doing motorcycle tricks. Don't you have cyber eyes? Wouldn't they be linked once you get once you see them in AR? Would I? Is that how those work? I don't know if that's how those work yet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was right. gonna say uh, not quite yet. So not uh, yet. No, okay. It doesn't, it doesn't, okay. It doesn't okay. show up immediately. <laughs> okay. 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 All right, I'll, I'll go outside. Cause he's popping wheelie. As 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 I see you come outside, I stop and I go, Karma, look on the ground. <laughs> I look. There's big ring circles on the ground on the parking lot. Bakery. Donuts. That's that's kind of hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. All right. High five. <laughs> come on. High sure. Five. High five. Okay. All right. What Apple Jacks that for us? Uh, so he gave us access to Shadowlands, or whatever that thing's called, I think. And, uh, he seemed upset that we didn't just call. Um, so maybe keep that in mind. Future notice, uh, and I sent you the rest of the information, which I'm assuming you didn't see. You know, he says that he gets angry when you just show up without warning, but really, he could use the interactivity with outside people more often, so don't let him... Don't it let seems him like he's him. has a lot of interactivity where he is right now with the others. Trust me. Important to build these relationships with Yeah, I mean, you know him better than me, obviously. Um, uh, so but... I'll pull out my phone and check on the info that he sent over to me. Okay. So we've got a tag, got a base of operations. That's helpful. It's good to yes. know. It's good to start. Her chance... I'm assuming that he didn't mention anything about the place that he said that he was going to be getting us to stay while you were down there? I didn't ask, so no. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to shoot Applejack a text real quick and just go, Hey, quick change. Uh, due to the job that we are currently working, would it be possible for that base of operations you're looking into for us to be located downtown? Question mark? Heart emoji. Uh, you just get the simple response. Probably not. I would just see if there's a coffin motel. I mean, we got 25,000. Oh, that's, that's always the fallback plan, but okay. let's see how close we are with the place that he gets to us, because having our base got of it. operations set up, step one. Okay. Then we'll go from there. Got it. And then I'll send Applejack another text to just say ETA question mark? You get uh, another kind of, you get another text back with an angry face as soon as it's ready. I'll send him a uh, thumbs up and a uh, cool guy with sunglasses emoji back as a response. Okay. And then I'll send him a follow-up message that said the cool guy with sunglasses, that's you. All right. <laughs> Shall we patrol downtown and look for tags, sir? That's using your noodle. Also, sir, sir come Adam? on. Father? Call, call. I'm missing one now. 
You should just call me Kaze. That's fine. Kaze. Yep. Pop pop. We'll get El there. Little daddy daddyo. We'll we'll get there. Not okay. don't not not hating on the last one. We're closer. <laughs> We're closer on that. <laughs> We're close. <laughs> no. All right. Yeah. We'll we'll get on the bike and then head downtown and see if we can do some scouting for tags or. Sure. Roll some perception as you're cruising along. You can happen upon one of the tags. Uh, there's also looks to be some uh, broken fiberglass arrows uh, and a small trail of blood. Is, is it fresh blood? I imagine not. That'd be Can't really, really useful if it was. <laughs> Karma, lean down and taste the blood. See how fresh it is. I'm not Wait, going sorry, to I was do think- that. I was thinking of your dad. I'm sorry. That's I Sorry, I got a little fuzzy. Again, you gotta pardon the brain fuzz. Let's okay. follow the trail of blood. That's that's what I that's what I meant. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Well, also, we'll, we'll I'll I'll grab one of the broken arrows and, and pocket it because I want to check it out later. Fiberglass. It's so weird. Can't even shell out for carbon fiber. All right. We'll follow the blood. Well, maybe that's the point because, okay. like, when it hits them, like, it shatters in their body, so it probably do extra damage if it's oh, like that's glass, true. right? Fiberglass is so itchy yeah. that yeah. even if it doesn't hit you, if it just whizzes by, that's just the fiberglass rash. Yeah, that's a bad doesn't time. sound great. It's mm-hmm. a valid point. It's a valid... Mm. Maybe I should make a fiberglass sword. Oh, that would be uncomfortable. Yeah, it doesn't seem Ooh. useful. <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> I'm getting ideas. Fiberglass daggers, just intentionally made. I mean, to maybe break like, off. It's a... sorry, sidelining these ideas for later. Anyway, we'll follow the trail of blood. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it leads you into an alleyway. And mm-hmm. uh, as you get further in, you can hear the sounds of uh, somebody pleading. And uh, you can see there are three people. One is on the ground with their arms raised. And the other two are wearing green hooded cloaks. And have swords raised? Well, surely that can't be. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Halloweeners in downtown? That's, That's crazy. That's crazy. crazy. Jesus. So, uh, would you like to roll initiative here, or are you just going to let this guy get hacked to pieces? Oh, always uh, roll initiative. I do have a question. Uh, I just don't remember. Was spider sniper rifle suppressed or no? Uh, it was. Okay. I just feel well, like that's, that's good it. to know. Yeah, that's. That's that's helpful information. A little, a little important. All right, cool. Although I, I, I distinctly remember that people love hearing gunshots in downtown Seattle. So I don't think it yeah. was a big deal. I don't if it wasn't. Oh, well, yeah, but I feel like I, I it was more for the future. Because I have a feeling that our initiative is probably bad, and I don't necessarily want to have this person that seems like they may be against the gang to be killed in front of us. Can I use uh-huh. a plot point? Uh, sure can. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm gonna yell down the alleyway. By any chance, are any of you Zurich? Hey, there you go. Stop mid swing and uh, turn to look in your direction. They have the the hoods up. They have mask like cloth masks oh that go over their, their face. That's so crazy. <laughs> and you can see there's a the one of them has a bow strung on his back and a quiver at his side. <laughs> Oh my god, these guys are losers. Uh, and they look look at each other and then rush in your direction. Okay. Do we so, still have the can say words during combat thing in Anarchy? Yeah. yeah, you can say words in combat. Okay, cool. So uh, the one with the sword uh, rushes straight at you and uh, the one with the bow is pulling the, the bow and getting it ready and Knocking an arrow. Knock, knocking an yeah. arrow. So it's either one of you. You both have one in your initiative. May, may so, I? So whoever wants to go first to take this. Go nuts. Take lead. During combat, I'll just say karma. Okay. Karma, target the archer. Okay. Yep. So I'll just say that out to you. Are you continuing your turn? Or are you are we Yeah, jump, no. And then, smash and then I'm, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna draw slash the dude that's charging me with the sword. Okay. okay. Oh, wait. What I said was four words. For my last two words, stun rounds. Oh, okay. Karma, target the archer, comma, stun rounds. That was Six stun words. Rounds. Good job. All right. So, um, <laughs> there's there's your your shout out. Now, are you slicing at the guy that's coming? I am. I am indeed. Boy, looks like you get a nice cut into his his armor. 
drop down quick slash. Uh, it, when you hit, when you hit his armor, it sounds like you're hitting against chainmail. Of course. I don't know how chainmail does against bullets. <laughs> well, you're up next, so I guess you can find out. How far is Archer Boy from me? What's the what's the uh, range on him? He's, he would be uh, near. Okay. Um. We're just in like an alleyway of two skyscrapers type things, yeah. Yeah, you're just like in an okay. alleyway between two buildings. Ooh. Uh. Okay. I'm going to. Guys, I'm thinking. Sure. All right, uh, I'm going to uh, pseudo take a knee, uh, pull out my sniper rifle, and take aim at the archer. And okay. I'm going to shoot him. All right. He just drops. Wonderful. Hey, easy. From, from the shot. Yeah. You want to know something really funny about increased reflexes? You get another is attack. <laughs> I'm going to target the guy that is, was next to him, the second guy. Oh, um, the one that was running? Well, there's three of them, right? No, the oh, third only guy two? was oh, okay. the third guy was the one that was no. towering on the floor. Frag that guy. No, I also no, no I also thought I also thought that there was three. No, there's only two. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, there's then the yeah, one I'll running end. and the the uh, the uh, the guy with the bow. The one running is would now be considered close. Okay, I will uh, drop my sniper rifle, let it sling, kind of just fall to my side, and uh -huh. uh, pull up my Ares Predator and take a shot at him, which in fact is not going to be sick and shock. Uh, I didn't think it was. Roll away. Here's how the combat goes. Yeah. Uh, you make, you shout down the alleyway to get their attention, and they come running at you. You tell Karma to try to keep one of them alive as you do the quick slash from your katana, slicing him across the chest. At the same time, Karma is able to keep his cool, take a quick sniper shot at the guy, pulling his bow to hit him dead in the face, and you watch him just shake for a second and then hit the ground crumbling and then immediately whips out his pistol at the guy that had run at you takes one shot and just sprays through his neck and he drops dead to the ground pretty clean first combat all right good job well i mean first alleyway combat you think i haven't killed people before and i'm just going to walk over to the dude on the ground like that is like you know uh cowering or whatever uh -huh. Just like completely nonchalant, as if this is an a a everyday activity. Please, please don't hurt me. Don't hurt oh, me. I didn't, I didn't do it. Shut anything. up. All right, shut up. Shut up, shut up. Shh. Quiet, Chummer. What's up? Why, why were they going to kill you? I don't, I don't know. I, I, I guess I was just walking in the wrong wrong area. He like kind of gets himself up and dust, just dusting himself off. You can roll a perception test if you want. Um, That's three hits. Okay. Yeah, just a normal looking human with a, a messed up business suit oh business suit oh uh cool uh i'm gonna uh point my aries predator at him oh, no. oh, oh. Whoa, what 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 i don't believe you why were they after you i don't know i was just walking home from work and then i get jumped by these people and now i'm being mugged uh, not a mugging. We're not taking anything. We just want information. I just wanted to ease your mind on that there from the back here. Karma, doing a great job, though. Keep it up. We could mug him. No. Look at Kyla. No. No? We no, don't do muggings? We don't do muggings. We don't need that. Don't it's do fine. Okay, so I can... Did they say anything to you before they attacked you? Yeah, they, they called me an uptight human. I mean, with that suit, you do kind of look a little uptight. Kind of look like a douche. Yeah. yeah. What do you want me to wear? I, good I, tailoring a goes a long job. way to helping your... I mean, that tie, that, well. Those well. Are that tie doesn't even match. The I color mean, clash. Thank you for I, saying that. Really? Yeah, it's been bothering me Do you know whole, what this uh, economy you know. is like? I mean, look into mugging. It's a good, good profit, really. You know, everybody needs a side hustle these days. Sorry, right? that's all we're. That's very true. Are are we are we done? Can I also put my hands hang down? On, I'm, I... I'm about to, I'm about to walk up and just kind of like angle around Karma and hand him a business card for Nova Hot Numbers. And just be, this will get you taken care of. Trust me. Just call that number. They'll, that that suit is just needs some needs some business. It's uh, really pathetic. Hey, Thank quick quick you, question. I guess quick, quick question though, Chum. Um, who do you work for? Out of curiosity, just. At one of the corp towers down here. Which one Which would that one? be? Let's, let's roll a d10 and find out. We. 
Uh, he he works for Shiwase. Shiwase. Okay. I mean, I'm cool with them. They're all right. They don't, well, that's We're fair. Good. But I'm more wondering. Can I was trying to see if maybe oh. he was Westman Raku. This could have been a targeted thing if this was in any way related to the Arcology. Oh, I, I was thinking oh. like if they were like, oh, like Aztec, I was just gonna pop him honestly. Down there. Well, that's. Whoa. I know, you, I know you've got your. Oh, thing you're not. Anyway. You're fine. You work for Shiwase. It's fine. Listen, he had a bad experience at a taco temple one time. He holds it very close to his heart. I mean, it's just that's just it's you guys. It be like that sometimes. Sorry. Thank you, but you, you sound crazy. Yeah, well, well, you just got jumped by a dude with a bow and arrow. So I mean, yeah, what's you know, up with that? that? Point? Right? Yeah, that's what's up weird, with that? Right? Yeah, that's right? pretty crazy. That's right? Weird. I I weird pulled drag. the broken one out from my pocket. I'm just like fiberglass too. Like that's just mean. Oh, this great. just feels that like they're just I, trying to definitely got to go right? to the hospital. Because yeah, of that, that's, yeah, get that checked yeah. out, chum, because that's it already it already itches. So that you know. Oh, that's, that's yeah. Fucking, Good news. Rough. If you're the Mega Corp, you've got those premium bennies, though, dude. Like, well, it depends luckily, on how high up he is. Luckily, no dog probably wagon. Not, so I'm assuming no. probably no? not that yeah. crazy. But that's rough, buddy. No. Well, yeah, work your way up. There's probably a. You seem like a great guy. I'm sure you could get patched up. Go to. Go to the local coffin, ask where the nearest street dock is. They'll get you taken. Put a little cream I mean, on it. You'll be good to go. Okay, I'm going to go now. All right, yeah, have a good yeah, day. Hey, so, yeah, hey. hey. Like I said, call that number. They'll get you taken. This whole thing. Made this. Made this trend. Yeah, they do great. Great work. Right. Satisfied customer. Uh, and he just kind of limps, limps away. <laughs> hey, have a good one, chum. I think that went pretty well. All things considered, <laughs> yeah, we didn't like have to that. mug him. We got some information. I feel like we still could have mugged him. You know, I we don't need to mug him. Oh, hey, although he probably didn't have much on him. I, it didn't really sound. Honestly, we probably yeah. would have been doing him a favor mugging him because maybe he would have gotten some kind of like workers' comp or something. You know, emotional distress, something like he's that. Clearly off the clock. That would not have worked. Anyway, let's go check out that dead guy. Maybe he's got some cool information on him or something. We can get off of that. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to. I'm gonna pull out like a little sandwich baggie. Uh, you want to cut off his ears? Or well, well, yeah, yeah, whoa, whoa. we don't even what? know. We don't even know who this is. This we only need the we only need the six. What? Well, yeah, but we get off. What if he's one of the we six? What, just, what, let's what, just what take them all. But what if he's not? He's dead. What does it matter? Let's just take them all. Listen, Part. use the twenty foot of cable. Tie up the other one that we stunned. We're gonna wait here in the alley, and then that way we can get confirmation on who the person we killed was. Because if they're not them, we don't want extra ear tips just laying around. That's a trail. I think he That's was bad. Well, we're not going to leave it laying around. It's going to be in the baggie. Yeah, and then what happens if we're walking down the street and we get stopped by somebody from Lone Star and then all of a sudden you've got ear tips in your pocket? I feel like we're going to have other issues. No, like no. The, the not having licenses for your firearms. No, that doesn't matter. They don't care yeah, about that. I don't... They don't care about that. It's not a big deal. <laughs> yes. tips. It's unsanitary. It's gross. It'll stain the fabric. Let's just not. The Hang on. They're Let's... going in a bag. Can we check the body? Maybe he's got okay, ID on check him. check the body Maybe then. He's got Go, you're... Going on. This, is th this is the teachable what? moment, Karma. This is a oh teachable moment. Check right, the I'll, body I'll of check the person the body. before check, we start to check the body. Uh, unconscious Always one or the good. dead one? The, the dead the one, dead apparently. One. The, dead uh, okay. the unconscious you, one's going to be you, out for a while. I'm not what are you looking for? Uh, <clears throat> he's wearing... Um, like Chainmail, as we established. He's and wearing, a cloth around his face. Yeah, he's wearing fake medieval clothing. Right. Does He, he add... even has a faux leather belt with a faux leather belt pouch. Check inside the pouch. What's in the pouch? Check inside the pouch. What's in the pouch? There are poker chips in the pouch. I see poker, poker chips, chips. from it's where? Cringe. Is there any like? Is there no, any? The, it's like what you would get from like a a poker table set, like, like a, a like generic a one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it just like yeah, a and he just has some poker chips. That's kind of weird. They have numbers written on them. What are the numbers written <laughs> on them? Easy. <laughs> they range from one that. There's po poker chips that say one on them, then poker chips uh -huh. that say five, and he only has a couple that say ten. Oh, okay, so just normal poker chip currency. Okay. Yeah, but they're like written on there. Oh, <laughs> they're like with like a marker. Yeah. Well, maybe yeah. they like maybe okay. he's just like a at home gambler. Maybe, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go ahead and pocket the uh, chips. on on all the oh. other sides of them. Mm -hmm. uh, written again in marker it is the the letters G C. GC. GC. Mm -hmm. Is that any of our contacts? Or not not nope. contacts. Hit list? No? Nope. nope. GC. 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 Eric, mm -hmm. comma. 
chip. Generic chip. Generic chip. Generic maybe chip. Maybe it's These are generic poker chips. That I'm adds gonna up. Keep, I'm going to hold on to them. Pocket the chips. So they, sure. they, they are on me in case we need them for later. Okay. Yeah. Does <laughs> this guy match any of the descriptions? No. Okay. All right. Should we does put he, him in like a... Should we just leave him here? Or does, put him he in have, does he have any identify... Does he have any ID on him? Any ID, any phone, anything like that? Do you want Ooh. this sword, by the way? It's kind of cool. No, I don't it know. doesn't. I'm fine. No? It's, okay. No. All right. Well. Never needed an upgrade. Not going to change now. Um, I don't know if it's an upgrade. He you know does. what, though? Oh. You might need a sword, Karma. You should take the sword. I don't want this. The, I don't want the carbon. No, fi- no I don't. I don't want the glass it's sword. Not a, it's, it's not. It's not like a bad sword. idea. It's, it's a normal not. Sword. It's, it's, it's a, a regular sword. like Aries oh, it's a normal sword. Oh, it's okay. regular like Aries motto sword. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really you have anywhere to take, carry. I already got something take, on my back. All right, you I know what? I'm gonna take the sword for now. This okay. is your sword for later. We'll come back to this. Okay. This is all right. Got it. Two swords. No, he doesn't have a pager or a com link or a phone. Nothing. He does have a whistle. Oh, oh. well, oh. you know, I mean, downtown things happen. You know, sometimes you need a well, no, a not like not like a traditional whistle, like a oh. coach's whistle. I mean, it's like a carved wooden whistle. Uh, oh, 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 I'm taking the whistle. I gotta well, take the like, whistle. Should we blow it? Maybe no, it's like no. a hang on a mystical call sign. But if we do that now and a bunch of people show up and we're not ready for it, that's a bad move. So that's let's, a good point, right? It might not... just magically summon them here. We shouldn't yeah, do that. Yeah. Or teleport us to them. I don't. True. We didn't even consider that. I've played, so you know, great. played a lot of Mario <laughs> too. Warp whistles go a long way. So let's just not. I don't know what. That. I know. It's okay. okay. Before your time, buddy. That's all right. I make these for me, not for you. So okay. dead body. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Should we just leave him here? Or we want to like put him in a trash can against usually, a wall? Or... So usually a bad thing to just leave a dead body out in the middle of the anywhere. I mean, it's downtown. That's... We'll probably stumble across more. I mean, I'm just saying, you know. Potentially, but to go ahead and cover our tracks, I'll grab the ankles. You grab the front. Let's just let's get them in the dumpster. Okay. All right. <laughs> we do that. <laughs> when in doubt, put them in, in the dumpster. Put them in the dumpster. All right, and then we'll check on the unconscious guy. Does he? Uh, yeah. Does he have the same stuff essentially? Uh, essentially, yeah. Uh, just a different collection of the poker chips. Like okay. he has a few more fives and maybe one more ten. So we'll he's better. Him for, well. well well, we'll and leave then he has, there for now. He has the fiberglass arrows in the recurve bow. Right. Yeah. If I didn't have a significantly superior weapon, that'd be kind of cool. Debatable. Is it? Do your it... bullets make people itch on impact? I didn't wow. think so. If it gets infected, wow. probably. I mean, wow. well, I guess that's, that's not on impact. I could. Well, well, what if I just coat my bullets in it? You know, in like powder <laughs> in fiberglass. Just roll them yeah. in fiberglass. Before yeah, you know, in fiberglass. You know like what? You glue? might be onto something. There. Yeah. That's, Any... that could be good. <laughs> anyway, uh huh, Brett. Yeah, so you have. Well, let's go ahead and thing. let's go ahead and take that 20, 20 feet convenient cable, buddy. Okay. Wrap up this to go package, and then uh, mm-hmm. we're gonna ski daddle out of downtown and uh, head back towards the Barrens to find. Are we just gonna carry for... this body out? Yeah. yeah. Okay. To, we're gonna to fit three of us on the motorcycle and take it back to the Barrens. I don't understand what the issue is with this plan. Where is? I don't think you're. I you know, I can't hold him and like stay on the bike. We can just like you have like a, a little a, faith. Do you just have like a stem patch? We could probably like just wake him up real fast or something. Mm, if mm. we wake him up here, then there's a potential that he could escape faster and get back to his he's colleagues. Tied which up. Is better. I'll just shoot him. Again. For us. We just kill him. But he's tight. He's tied up. He's in cord. We can saw off his legs if you want. Like do I feel like. We... Do you have a stem patch? I don't have a stem <laughs> patch. You have one plot point remaining. Just throwing that out there. But what a tough decision we have came to. <laughs> the alternative uh, on the crossroads is I could drive back to the Barrens with them, and then you just take public transit and meet me there. On the bike. You're still driving with a dead body in downtown. Though. Unconscious like... body. First and foremost, okay, unconscious right, body. Unconscious, unconscious, my bad. Just Secondly, slung over your motorcycle. Never mm-hmm. never been pulled over before. Okay. Have a clean you know record. What? If I that's what like you want to do, there. sure. I'm good. If I'm taking public transport, go nuts. All right. Is that is that what we've decided we're doing? All right. Well, help me get him on the bike. No. I'm going to go find a bus stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. You're driving away with uh, the unconscious guy on the, on the bike. Okay. But I have him up 
Okay, I had like, to go pee again. So, so they look guess. like they're somebody that's sitting on the back of the bike. It's not they're not like strong. Oh, like so they're slung like slumped. Over the, yeah, they're yeah. slumped onto you. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I don't want them just, to. I, it's more noticeable if you just have a person laying long ways across. Sure, the back sure, of the bike. sure, sure. He's just slumped onto you, tied up with cable, right? That's... Yeah. So I was so I was debating on doing like a maybe like a like a reconfig to like maybe do like one band of cable around myself so I could hold him up right okay. while we're driving so that way he's he's connected with me okay and since karma's not here to tell us not to do that right now i'm, I'm gonna keep running with that plan so that's what I you're gonna that. do yeah i know he can hear us but uh -huh. he's not physically here so okay that's the you plan see I believe in you. You got positive it. reinforcement there we go okay um give me a drive okay Maybe uh, I don't know how his drive do, work in anarchy. <laughs> do you do you do you have um drive skill or mo be, yeah uh, pilot ground skill pilot ground I think it is what, it pilot it is. ground <laughs> it, I think it is yeah okay so I don't have any points in that okay cool uh, so do we you have can, you can do roll. we have do we have defaulting in this by chance uh, yeah yeah we do we do okay so what you're gonna default to is you're uh -huh. gonna default to uh, agility twice. Yeah, so okay. Double uh, double agility, right? Okay. Uh, but you're gonna take a glitch die. Oh. What does that mean? So <laughs> what is a glitch not... die? You do you do the double a uh, double agility, right? And then okay. you roll one extra die. Okay. Along with your roll, and as long as it doesn't come up a one, you're fine. Everything's okay. Good. This is my glitch die, just for for notice. Sure, so. sure, 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 sure. So I'm gonna roll. So my agility is five. So I'm rolling six total die because I'm including that one in my pool, right? Is how this is working? Uh, no, you're you're rolling ten. Your agility is five. Total. It'd yeah. be eleven total dice. Eleven total agility, dice. agility, gotcha. agility. Gotcha. Yeah, because okay. in anarchy, it's always it's always like skill plus attribute or or double attribute. So, gotcha. Double attribute, and I roll a difficulty. Oh god. Okay. And you add that lovely glitch die. Okay, so did not roll a one on the glitch die. Uh, I got. Three successes, unless the glitch die counts towards a success, in which case it would be four. Okay. So, three successes, you say? Yes. All right. Uh, you're going along. Everything's going great until the body starts to fall backwards off the back of the bike while still tied to you. And so, now the unconscious head is dangerously close to the back tire. Would you like to continue going? Mm -hmm. Or pull over and address the situation. Uh, <clears throat> I would like to do neither of those things. Instead, what I would like to do would be to do a quick handbrake check on the bike to kind of jerk us forward to see if I can just, oh, you know, boy. Please roll How me do do? another the... yeah. pilot. Yeah, please roll me another oh. pilot again. Okay. I really want with, you to get a one on that glitch with die. With the glitch <laughs> die. Okay, with the glitch die. Gotcha. Yep, with okay. the glitch die. Okay. So, am, am I doing a double check or is this just a single check? Again, you rolled the full same pool. Okay, okay, simple. Okay, did not get a one on the glitch die. Good job. Yeah, but how many successes did you get? Because that's going to matter against this difficulty that I just rolled. Four. Four. Edge Again, exists. unless Edge the exists. glitch die counts, then five. So I think it does. So uh, I'm going to ask you if you uh -huh. would like to spend a point of edge at this point uh -huh. to re-roll failures. <laughs> Because you're uh, you're about two successes short. Two successes. You have good short, odds. You say uh, that is pretty good odds. That would be <laughs> six die re-rolled to just get two successes. You know what? I have four points of edge. Let's go ahead. Let's go. Let's oh, go ahead. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's All do right. It. All right. Exactly two successes. <laughs> All right. You pull off the maneuver and the body slumps back up onto the bike. <laughs> I just go. Oh, that would have been bad. Yeah, this is where I'm going to spend a plot point uh -huh. to have good old blue and red lights start to go off in the background after you pull off this maneuver as you're heading out of downtown. And that's where we'll end the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Sinless is back, baby. We appreciate all of you who have spent your time just being patient, waiting, hanging out in the discord while we took a break and got a new story written and got it all together uh, you guys have been super patient super gracious and your support means everything to us 
So I want to give a quick shout out to all of our Patreons that stuck through the last couple of months while we were kind of taking a break from making content and kept supporting us to help us keep the lights on and the bills paid. Crimson Gecko, The Rogue 404, An Absolute Drek Storm Podcast, Tim, Tommy, Martin, Michael, Flatty One Gaming, Manic, Sander, Winter, Jim, The Musician, Shadow Dagger, Oliver, Ancient Relic, Rende, What the Dice, Dat Booty, Techno Druid, Con 9000, MS, and to our new members who joined up while we were on hiatus, Travis, Asthma Admiral, Joseph, Big Spoon, QM1, DeLeon, Devix, and Dylan. Thank you all for your continued support and for jumping in to help us continue to make great Shadowrun stories for the community. If you're interested in joining us on Patreon, all of our, our runner tier patrons get special benefits like uh, a lot of these folks have been able to help us with names for NPCs for the current season. Uh, we've got things like art coming out. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of other stuff I can't announce quite yet, but the patrons are going to get first crack at it. And most importantly, you get that shout out at the end of every sinless episode. One other thing that we've been doing is we have kind of started another collaborative podcast with a lot of other podcasters called The Fixer Files, and all of our patrons have access to be able to play in those one-shot adventures with some of your favorite Shadowrun podcasters. So if you're interested in that, you can get a shot at that by joining our $5 runner tier over on patreon.com slash critical underscore hits. If you guys are listening to this on audio, please do us a favor, give us a five-star rating on the audio platform you're listening on and head on over to our YouTube and give the video a like and a, a subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, those subscriptions really help us a lot to get uh, noticed in the algorithm. That way our content gets pushed to more people who might be interested and haven't already experienced it. So it's a quick click for you, but it means the world to us. So we'd really appreciate it if you have a minute, take some time, do that for us. Big support right there. You're the ones that keep this podcast going. And without you, it would just be us sitting around a table playing games like we've been doing for years. So thank you for listening. Thank you for being there. And thank you for supporting us. Hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Kaze and Karma. Uh, we've got three more in the pipe for this mini series. And uh, then you can expect more Sinless Season 3 brand new story coming out. Look forward to sharing it with you guys. See you there.